We're getting to know a very special piece of the team that works to keep West Columbia safe and sound. Well, do it anyway and do it well. That's the message from Gracie Landry, the newest firefighter at the West Columbia Fire Department. She's not only the newest team member, she's also the only female firefighter at the station. So I stopped by the West Columbia Fire Department to meet Gracie and hear how her passion for serving others led her to this career. It's a male dominated field. But that never stopped Gracie Landry from pursuing her dream to become a firefighter. I hope you said your prayers today. <laughs> Landry is the newest technician EMT with the West Columbia Fire Department. She is also the only female firefighter currently on the team. But that never deterred Landry from pursuing this career. In fact, it did the opposite. It's a motivator for sure. I, uh, I've definitely experienced a little bit of the sexism in this job before, but it's a fun game for me because when somebody says I can't do something, it's now my goal to prove them wrong. She's consistently done that throughout her time as a firefighter. Landry recognizes how she may be seen as a role model to young girls and even other women looking to pursue a career in a male-dominated field, but she doesn't let that responsibility change who she is. I just try to be authentically myself. Um, I don't really do anything to please any one particular person or anything like that. I mean, as long as I show up to work and we have a good day and we're able to get out in the community and help somebody, that's all I care about. Fire Chief Marquis Solomon says Landry embodies the three main principles of the station, serving the community, serving each other, and training to serve. I was really just taken aback by how, how committed she was to really just being great at her craft. Her dedication and work ethic makes her an impactful leader. Fire Chief Solomon says they are lucky to have Landry join the team, bringing with her an impressive skill set. She functions in what we call a technician position and um, that allows her to function as a driver, uh, also as a firefighter, but a firefighter driver, and, uh, but also as a rescue specialist. So um, she has all the, all the training already, and she's, uh, she's proven that she, she, uh, she's confident that she could really make it happen. Being a first responder takes quick thinking, quick calculations, and quick decision making when they're responding to a call. But that's all in Landry's wheelhouse. And then this is the engineer's compartment, which is for our drivers. If you need to make something work, she knows how to make it work. So, You're kind of yep. This is my realm. Landry always knew she wanted to help people, originally thinking she would do so by becoming a doctor. Though her career plans changed, her desire to serve others never wavered. There are some times where there's not really much you can do for somebody, but then there are other times where what you do makes a huge impact on somebody, and those are the, the times that keep me coming back. For Landry, being a firefighter is more than just a job. It's not just something you can sign up to do. It's, it's a calling, for sure. And you find yourself around all these like-minded people that also are there for the same reason that want to help you, help each other, help everyone around them. So what's her advice to those who are perhaps nervous to follow their calling? Well, she keeps it quite simple. Do it anyways. It's not about anything other than following your heart. If this is what you're called to do, then do it and do it well. Go out, train, talk, learn, and just keep growing. And you know, sky's the limit. Yeah, she says the team at the West Columbia Fire Department has just completely embraced her and she just says mesh right in perfectly. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. Well, great story. And I tell you, it's uh, incredible to see when people follow their dreams yeah. where it lands them. It really it looks like she's fitting right in. Oh, that she is for sure. So it's cool to share her story. So thank you, Gracie and the team over there. But. Yeah.